Hello everyone, welcome to episode 27 of our survival series. My name is Joe Buffalo and today joining me is Leo. How are you today, bud? Good. Good, what do you want to do? Build a horse farm. That's a great idea, you want to build a horse farm. Are you ready to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go! All right, for today's horse barn, we're going to need an area that is 15 by 12 spaces big. Yeah. Are you ready to get that dug out, Leo? Yep. All right, let's go get started. So here's what a 15 by 12 space looks like. The front of your house or barn is going to start here on the 12 side. Yeah. And we're going to go over to the left hand corner. We're going to come over one and up one and place a block of your choice here and then add three more. So one, two, three. Then we're going to skip two spots, add a block and then three more. One, two and three. Next, we're going to run a row of blocks all the way to our next white block. And you'll stop right here before the end. Now we're going to come and go this way. Three more blocks. One, two, and three. Skip two spots. One, two, three, and four. And then we'll turn this way and run the entire length. And that is going to be the bottom floor of our barn. And if Leo can help me, the next step we're going to go ahead and do is take this three more high. So one, two, and three. And we'll do the whole wrap around three more high. Can you help me with that, Leo? All right, great job, Leo. Got the first floor all completed. Yeah. This is your sides. And the other side looks exactly the same. So we did find a new tree in our Twitch stream the other day called the Dark Oak Log. We were looking for bees and we ended up finding this tree. So we're going to use this in today's build. So we're going to take this row out here. And we're going to replace it with our new Oak Log tree. And then we're going to do the same thing over here on this yep. side and on those two sides there. One, two, and three. And then we're going to go ahead and take these four across the top out like this. And then place them across just like this. And what you'll have is this archway. We're going to do it in the exact same way on the other side. After you get your archways completed, you can come to the side of your barn and count two spots. One, two. Dig this out and this out. Leave a space. Dig this out. Leave a space. Dig this one and this one. Now go ahead back through here and just add some fences in here. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to go ahead and put the roof on our barn. So come over here to one of the sides. We'll start here and just place a staircase like this the whole way down. Once you have it done, it should look like this. In case you're wondering, we're using acacia wood staircases. And then you're gonna come right to the side here and place a stair on each side. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, once you have both sides complete, come up to this side and go ahead and stick a staircase upside down here and go ahead and stick one on this side and then do the same on the back. And then you should have something that looks like this on both sides of your barn. The next thing you're going to do is place a block here and a block here and one on each of the sides back here. Next, you're going to come to the front of that block and place a stair facing this way. And then on this side, the same thing. And then the same on the back side. Next thing we're going to do is put a stair upside down right here and a stair upside down right here and the same on the back side. The next thing we're gonna do is come over here and then put a stair facing you right on top of that block there and do that on all three sides. The next thing you're gonna do is come up to the stair that you just placed and place a stair behind it upside down, just like that, and on all three other sides as well. The next thing we're gonna do is climb back up there and place another staircase like this and then one upside down behind it and do the same thing on all three sides. All right, once that's completed, we're going to go ahead and climb back up there with Leo. Place another staircase here. And then one upside down, just like that. Do that on all three remaining sides. 
And once you're done, you should have a roof that looks like this on both sides. Okay, the next thing to do is just go ahead and start matching the block right across the entire way. So we're going to put down our solid block here. And then we're going to go ahead and place a staircase facing this way the entire way down. Next, you're going to go ahead and just place a stair here and run it the whole way across. Once again, same thing with a staircase all the way across. And then just go ahead and repeat the same process for the remainder of the roof. Once you've got your sides of your stairs filled in, go ahead and climb back up there. And then we're going to go ahead and put half slabs in the middle of all this. So just like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and put another layer of half slabs on top of that half slab. Good job, Leo. Yeah. And that's it. Our roof is now complete. Yep. Here's what your roof should look like on the inside. On the same on the front and the back. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill in our second floor. Mm -hmm. To fill in our second floor, just go ahead on the inside of the barn. Put a block of your choice in here. And then just keep filling in the whole front and back side. And there's our barn so far with the first floor done, the second floor, and the roof completed. Next, we're going to go ahead and put some pillars in. And we're going to put our pillars right above our white markers on the corners. So one here. Remove your white marker, one there and one there. And we're going to do that on all four sides. Next, we're going to come to our archway. We're going to come directly underneath our archway here. We're going to jump up and place a pillar like this and run it all the way down. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Jump up, place your pillar, and have it come all the way down. So it'll look just like that when it's completed. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the two. Like this. And we're going to put two in front here as well. And we're going to do that on both sides. Once you have that done, come over to the first pillar and just have it pillar right straight across like that and do the same thing over here. And we'll do that on both sides. Next thing we're going to do is put some windows in here, right in the middle, and one over here. And for our windows, we just put in a piece of fencing. Next, we're going to go ahead and place a jungle slab here and a jungle slab here. And then we're going to come on the other side and do the same thing. One there and one here. And we're going to go ahead and do that on the back side as well. Now we're going to go ahead and put our windows on our second floor. So we're going to come to the middle section here and dig all four of these out and put fences in. Then we're going to jump over here to the side, take this block and this block out and put a piece of fencing in each spot. And then do the same thing on this side. We'll go ahead and take this block and this block, fencing and fencing. And then what I did is I took my half slabs out and I put full blocks in to give it that more depth look for the top and for the sides. And we did that on both sides. Okay, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and just place some lanterns inside here and here on both sides. All right, now we got the outside with the lanterns all completed. Now we can go inside and start setting up the corrals for the horses and the donkeys. All right, next you're going to come in here and write... In this corner, go ahead and place three pieces of fence, and then three right here. Three right here. And three right here. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to go ahead and stick lanterns on each one of these. Now we're going to go ahead and put our loft in. So just come in here with a sl half slab. Start placing it right along here. And what we're going to do is just go around the perimeter with this. And then go ahead and add another row along the perimeter of the loft. Then we can come back here to the back of our barn. And place ladders right here. And here. We can dig this out. And this out. Place another ladder there. And a ladder there. And that could be your access to your loft area. And then we can put storage and pictures on the wall up here. Whatever you want to do. 
All right, next we're gonna go ahead and put our automatic fence gate in so the horses can run in one side of the barn and out the other as you ride them. So we'll come to the front here. We're gonna start right under this entryway on this left block here. We're gonna dig out five across. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna go ahead and bring it back four this way. So one, two, three, and four. And once you have that five by four square dug out, go ahead and dig it down by two more blocks. One, two, one, two, the whole way in. All right, this is what it looks like once you have your five by four by three hole dug out. Go ahead and jump down here. Look at your entryway, come right to the wall, turn around, place a block here and a block here. Next, go ahead and add a redstone torch here and a redstone torch here. Jump on top of these redstone torches, grab yourself a sticky piston and place it right on top of the redstone torch. Just like that. And it should extend and be level with the surface. And what you can see here is this redstone torch powers on these sticky pistons to turn them on. So they'll stay extended just like this. Now what we're going to do is revert power onto a pressure plate right up here so that when you step on the plate, it'll shut this power off, releasing these extended pistons down. That way you'll be able to get in and out of your farm. And the way to do that is to come on top here, add a piece of redstone dust here, redstone dust here and here, then come this way and you want your repeater facing this wall. So you're going to go ahead and place a repeater right here like that. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a piece of redstone here and redstone here. We're going to go ahead and then put a piece of glass here and then a glass right here like that. Next, you'll go ahead and put redstone here and on top of your glass. Then we're going to come to the side here, add a block and redstone dust right here. Next, we're going to come over to this block here where our first piston is. And we're going to place a repeater going into that and then a piece of redstone dust here. The next thing we're gonna do is add a dirt block here and a dirt block here. And then on top of this dirt block here, we're gonna put a pressure plate. Now, once we step on this pressure plate, it'll activate lowering the pistons. And when you step off of it, it raises them back up. And you can see once the pressure plate is activated, the power runs down the redstone into this repeater, into here, this power here and redstone, and it powers this which those two blocks shut off those redstone torches, then it lowers the pistons like it's supposed to. Once you have this done, you can start filling this back in. And you can fill it into this point here. Because if you put blocks on here, it's going to stop the redstone and this will stop working. So a simple solution to that is to get yourself some carpet. We're going to use green carpeting here. And you can put carpeting in here to cover this up. Then here you want to put a fence post here and a fence gate here, a fence post here, and a fence post here. Now when you ride your horse in, that pops out. You can come over here and you can see we can get them right inside of our stable and we can leave without the horse following us. Now we're going to build the exact same thing on the other side. We're just going to do it backwards so that the pressure plate is on the inside. That way you can step on the inside here and leave the barn this way. And you can see in the back side, this one is built the exact same way in the beginning and in the back side here. But as far as the glass go, you only have to run it back this way a little underneath the house and then put our pressure plate right here so that when you stand on it, it works from the inside. All right, so now the front fence gate is complete and the back you can see we covered it up with carpeting here fence glade is complete now it's time to bring in the horses leo hey leo we can bring in the donkeys and the horses go ahead and ride them in here he comes running there you go nice job here he comes here he yeah. comes yeah <laughs> All right, take him in the, take him in. Yeah. All right, so to breed the two, Leo fed the donkey a golden carrot. Now I'm going to feed the horse a golden carrot. And now... Hopefully the two breed. There they go. And they have a baby mule. 
So that's what happens when you breed a donkey with a horse. You get a mule. All right, here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Let me in. Okay, we're in. All right, here we come. Oh, 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 here we come. My, my horse is so fast. Slowly. There you go. Very good. And then what we're going to do is give them each a golden carrot. One for you. And one for you. They're going to breed. Oh, look what we have another mule. Oh. All right. So with a donkey, you can actually put a chest on them. And it becomes a saddlebag. And now they have extra carrying room when you ride them. So we can do that to both of our donkeys. And one other neat thing you can do, Leo. Leo has some horse armor, which looks like this. I have gold. He has diamond. And you can put it on your horse. Go ahead and put it on your horse, Leo. There you go. That looks pretty awesome. You got them all armored up. And I have the gold one for you, mister. So you can pull up your horse inventory on your horse. And I'm able to put the armor on him. That's pretty cool. Now hopefully we find more armor to put on our horses. Well, our horses and mules and donkeys finally have a home, Leo. Yep. Yeah, pretty exciting. Yeah. It looks pretty awesome in here. You did a really good job. Yep. The loft is cool. Did you come up here? It looks really neat from up here as well. And there's so much room up here. We can do so many different things. When we got to name all of our horses and mules and donkeys finally. Okay, our mules have grown up now. There's Leo's mule with his saddlebags on the side. And Bullet has his saddlebags on the side. So we have our new horses, mules, and donkeys all together in their own separate barn now. Hey, Leo. I can see you through the barn. Yeah. You ready to play a game? Yeah. What do you want to play? You want to have a race? Yeah. All right. How about we race to the iron farm? Uh -huh. And the first one in the treehouse at the iron farm wins. Yeah. You ready to get started? Yeah. All right. On your marks, get set, go! Here I come. Let's go to the boat. I'm. Oh my gosh, you're getting a head start on me. I'm taking this boat closer. I'm coming. Uh oh, where are all these chickens come from? It's a chicken party. Here I come, Leon, behind you. I'm coming. Oh, I took the lead. I took the lead. I took the lead. Where'd he go? I'm almost there. I'm going to get you. Watch out, turtles. I'm coming in. I'm coming in fast. Oh, oh, oh. Smashed into Leo. No, 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 no. I'm going to get up there first. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's my tree farm? Oh, where'd it go? Here it is. No, how do I get up there? Who's the first one gonna get to the tree? What happened to our tree farm? It's gone? Over here. Over where? Over here. Hmm. Oh, Leo, you got there before I did. <laughs> it's this tree. Oh. You won. It's right here. Let's see what our new place looks like for, oh wow look at our new barn our our little village over there is coming together very well isn't it you want to head back and say goodbye congratulations you won yeah you want to head back and say goodbye to everybody yeah. oh boy all right all right well that wraps up this video i hope everybody had a great day I hope everybody learned a lot about how to breed horses and donkeys to make mules. I hope everybody learned how you can put saddlebags on the sides of donkeys and mules. I hope everybody learned that they can make a barn with a gate that opens when you ride through on a horse. Go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!